check, check. communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us enter into the presence of God in the silence of our hearts. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, Woe to the complacent in Zion, lying upon beds of ivory, stretched comfortably on their couches. They eat lambs taken from the flock and calves from the stall. Improvising to the music of the harp, like David, they devise their own accompaniment. They drink wine from bowls and anoint themselves with the best oils, Yet they are not made ill by the collapse of Joseph. Therefore, now they shall be the first to go into exile, and their wanton revelry shall be done away with. The word of the Lord. He who keeps faith forever Secures justice for the oppressed Gives food to the hungry The Lord sets captives free Praise the Lord, my soul The Lord gives sight to the blind the Lord raises up those who were bowed down. 
The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations, Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. But you, man of God, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith. Lay hold of eternal life to which you were called when you made the noble confession in the presence of many witnesses. I charge you before God, who gives life to all things, and before Jesus Christ, who gave testimony under Pontius Pilate for the noble confession, to keep the commandment without strain or reproach until the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ that the blessed and only ruler will make manifest at the proper time, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who dwells in unapproachable light, and who no human has seen or can see. To him be honor and eternal power. Amen. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Though our Lord Jesus Christ was rich, he became poor, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to, he, to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried, and from the netherworld, where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off, and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, 
have pity on me. Sent Lazarus to dig the tip, to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, "My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad." But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you, a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours, or from your side to ours. He said, "Then I beg you, Father." Sent him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, "They have Moses and the prophets; let them listen to them." He said, "Oh no, Father Abraham! But if someone from the dead goes to them." They will repent. Then Abraham said, "If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead." The Gospel of the Lord. I often feel amazed at the ocean. Whenever I went out and spent time at the beach, walking out by the pier and looking at the oceans, it's a nice, huge body of water. Externally, all you we can see is on the surface, but internally, it's a deep, deep chasm of the ocean. A whole life going on that our physical eyes cannot discover unless we are able to capture them on video in those adventures. Brothers、well, and sisters, somewhat the ocean and the life form underneath it. Is an apt description of the state of the human being, because the story of the gospel reading today kind of captured me in that there is a surprise for both of those people, the rich man and the red Lazarus. Both of them were surprised. Because Lazarus was rewarded in the afterlife, and the rich man was suffering in the afterlife. More than a story of, you know, charity or the story of, you know, suffering and comforted, or you know, if you don't do charity, you'll be punished in the afterlife. More than that, what captured me is the lack. Of understanding of one's inner being, because as far as Lazarus and the rich man, both of them, I'm not sure about Lazarus, but the rich man, he has no understanding of, of his internal self, because the surprise is when he begins to discover. That underneath of all of that rich, richness and fine linen and fine dining, is a soul that is dying. Is a soul that is suffering, and that will be bare for us to see in the story. Because externally, it's one thing, but deep down, our being, our soul. It's a whole life form 
is a whole world that, that needed to be discovered, that needed to be understood, that needed to be discerned, to live, to strengthen, to allow ourselves to come into acceptance of the gospel. Brothers and sisters, that is just the message of today's gospel. It is to discern oneself, the internal compositions of one's soul, and to allow oneself to come to receive and to accept the gospel that is being given to each and every one of us. More than the rich man, Lazarus, in his suffering, see that. That's why he, that's why, that's why at the end of the story, he was the one being received into the bosom of Abraham. Because for Lazarus, more than anything, it's the understanding of who he is and where he is. So this is my invitation. My invitation is for us to, to begin to realize and, and to dig deeper into the state of our inner being. I often tell, back in the seminary, I, I, I often have that, that image. The first day of, of the seminary, we were given a shovel and then asked to dig. And dig we did. Because to dig, to dig into oneself, to understand one's spiritual components, spiritual life, internal disposition, is a task worth doing. It's an invitation of the Christian life that gives our baptism, our Christian life, the meaning and the task that it needs to believe, to live out a full, fully Christian life. That is the task. And I call it the spiritual work the work of the soul. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, who was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified of Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is sitting at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who will with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. Believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. God cares for the plight of the poor and disadvantaged. Let us open our hearts as we pray for them, for ourselves and for the whole world. For the church, may all who follow Christ be mindful of the poor, pray for them, 
and seek ways to assist them. Let us pray to the Lord. Glory hear our prayers. For our civic leaders, may they work tirelessly for justice and always be concerned about the poor and powerless in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For a spirit of generosity among all people, may hearts be open to the needs of the poor through the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. On this Priesthood Sunday, may all priests who serve the church be fruitful in their ministry and know that they are appreciated. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our brothers and sisters in the United Kingdom, may God give them comfort as they mourn the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the people of Puerto Rico and all who have been devastated by Hurricane Fiona, may God consider them in their loss and help them to rebuild their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For an end to the military aggression being inflicted upon the Ukrainian people and for the dawn of a new day in their homeland, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those among us who are sick in body, mind, or spirit, for those listed in the parish bulletin, and especially Danielle Butler, Linda Flathers, Jesse Pompa, Norma Cobb, Ginny Martin, Isaac Godinez, Carol State, Glenn Holt, Kathy Gostino, Jessica Chambers, Cecilia Smith, Patricia Braga, and Jeanette Cowley. May God provide comfort and restore them to health. Let us pray to the Lord. Glory to our prayers. For those who have died, especially Cornelio Gastionisti, Pablo Eduardo Ebraca, Lauren Johnson, Lero Beecher, Angie Jara, Brian Dungan, Marcelina Gangora, Leanne Martin, Michelle Nielsen, Raglilio Gonzalez y Martinez, and Miguel Jose Gonzalez. May they be filled with joy in the light of God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the repose of the souls of Renato and Rodelia Rosales, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, to you be honor and glory forever. Look kindly upon us, hear the prayers we offer to you this day, and give answer. For we pray in the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Christ, we are light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, we are light, shine in your church, gather today. Peace, our world is true. 
for water, many still thirst, because your bread broken for others, shed until all are fed. Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hand. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may bring acceptance with you, and that through it we, the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up out your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the ear of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Come for us, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord And profess your resurrection Until you come again Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, his brother Bishop Timothy and Thomas, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have really pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co heirs in glory with Christ to those to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.